Hello, friends, and welcome to another video. This week, I'm gonna be getting a Hollywood contouring facial. That's right, Daddy Bezos is gonna have to make some room in his space phallus, cause I'm about to be contoured to the gods and back. Now, the past couple of years have been kind of, well, you know. And like many of us, I have chosen buying skincare products and devices as a source of stress relief. I've got a gua sha, I've got a microcurrent thingy, I've got an ice contouring cube. Still not sure if they're doing much, but I like them. I also have a mask for my 24 karat breast masks. Bought this skincare one for $500. I honestly don't even really know what it does. And while I was researching this bizarre skin gym where you basically get professionally slapped for hundreds of dollars, I stumbled upon what I now call the Skincare Battles of 2019, a series of dueling videos between Refinery29 and Beauty Insider, where they sent their producers to ever increasing levels of fancy salons to get luxurious facials, like the Gemstone Facial, the three-hour facial, the Rihanna facial, the 16-step facial, the $1,000 facial, the organic facial, another $1,000 facial, the scary spatula facial, the bubble facial, the rainbow facial, the aforementioned workout facial, the power washing facial, whatever this one is, the foot facial, the golden facial, I really wanna do this one, the Singaporean facial, I also wanna do this one, the VS Angel facial, I wanted to do this one, but it looks like it doesn't exist anymore. Anymore. And on and on and on. How's it going in there, Nico? I'm good. Now we can bounce things off of your face. <laughs> and after all of this, I thought, why is my face so unfacialed? Don't answer that. But why can't I also have bougie skincare treatments done to my face? I want my face to be rubbed also. And so I decided to pursue bougie skincare treatment and settled on a facial that I wanted to also get. The $450 Contouring Facial Celebrity Swear By, which features both fanciness and many odd looking devices. So let's try to get it. Now this particular facial is done by Biba D'Souza, a celebrity esthetician and skincare guru who has had A-list celebrity clients like Miley Cyrus, Emily Blunt, and Billie Eilish swear by her work. During the pandemic, when she had to shut down her practice, she pivoted her focus from skincare services to launching a line of luxury skincare products. So for now, she only really does this facial for her A-list clients, but after asking super nicely and explaining to her my fancy facial envy, she was willing to squeeze us in at her her top secret studio in West Hollywood. So when we were in LA a couple of months ago, we dropped by. I feel dry. <laughs> now my skin actually wasn't loving the dramatic transition from Raleigh to dry LA. LA dried me out. Yeah, you should see my hair. I don't really get facials regularly, let alone $450 contouring celebrity facials. All right, I gotta take my clothes off. Are you naked? A little bit. Half, Half naked. Half naked. Top naked. Yes. So besides us just being able to see what a service like this is actually like. I look like an egg. <laughs> like I just look like an egg. I hear you're coming right now. Maybe Biba could also help me overcome some of the SpongeBob at Sandy's house level dryness that was occurring on my face. Water. Yeah. Here I am. Sorry, Biba, we've made it like an obstacle course for you specifically. That's okay. <laughs> well, hello everybody. I'm Biba de Souza. I am an esthetician. Hi, Biba. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to demonstrate my metafacial that I trademarked a couple of years ago. Now, Biba considers this her kitchen sink facial, which is meant to address the entire spectrum of skin concerns that a client may have. So I am going to just take a look at your skin. I have to tell you, Biba, I feel a little dry. I can say yay, 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 but you're not dry, you're dehydrated. Oh. You, you have oily skin mm. and you have very delicate skin, very prone to redness. So I would say that you're not hydrating properly. Just bear with me and I'll fix it. All right, we'll no fix problem. it. We'll fix it. Also, we have a puppy here. We have yes. puppy, this is Kiki. Okay. Hi, Kiki. Oh. <laughs> Not part of the treatment, <laughs> but very pleasant. She's so cute. I would have been fine with Kiki doubling as a weighted blanket. Oh my God. Oh my God. Actually, I love it. But for the purposes of the treatment, we decided to go dogless. Hi. Now, Biba started off the treatment by cleansing my face, which is pretty standard procedure. You're really well maintained. Oh, thank you. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm, I try. Right, right. <laughs> you're, and you're succeeding. Your skin looks good. It's just a little dehydrated. But she was like painting the cleanser on my face with a super soft paintbrush, which was a first for me. I like this brush. 
Thank you. I, I'm, I'm into the brush. And then, before applying any more products, she smothered me with an aromatic towel with lavender oil on it. Oh yeah, I like lavender oil. Mm-hmm. I've decided just now. She's a talker. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, like literally a talking towel. Yeah. Now, we're going to do our lymphatic drainage. Great. Now, lymphatic drainage is kind of a big focus of Biba's metafacial. So I'm brushing on a cream mm. that is going to allow us to glide over your skin. Yeah, it feels pretty thick. It's definitely part of the contouring element as it's supposed to help de-bloat your face. So here, we're gonna start right here. Whoa! And we're gonna start opening your lymph nodes. Whoa! Okay, brief science time. The lymphatic system is a bodily process, complementary to your circulatory system that clears away infection keeps your fluids in balance, removes cellular waste, and creates a fluid known as lymph. And uh, it doesn't have a pump, so how mm. the lymph moves is through movement, breathing, exercise, and massage. So this is a mechanical lymphatic drainage. So the idea is that if you have swelling due to an excess amount of lymph or a lymph node blockage, Biba can use this suction machine to basically lift the lymph up and push it towards different collection ports in the body so it can drain. And it's going to remove the puffiness from the facial area and it feels really really good sorry if that's wrong i haven't taken biology since 2007. so can you feel that every time it pulsates it feels so crazy <laughs> it feels like um like tiny like fire cupping like it's like lifting my face up mm -hmm. i was gonna say it's like a chin breast pump kind of <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly sucking it out. Oh my god, the breast bump. I don't know. <laughs> Overall, even though it was kind of a foreign sensation, I thought the lymphatic sucker actually felt really good. You're a perfect uh, candidate for this because you're became dehydrated. Oh great, well, great. good thing. Good thing I didn't drink enough water. Good thing. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> I know it was meant to be moving lymph around, but my favorite part of it was just the feeling of like tension relief. Yeah, you can see this side is already flatter. I'm just an egg getting sucked. That's it, Sophia. Sophia often feels like an egg. <laughs> As it was kind of lifting parts of my skin up that never really get stretched. It feels good, right? The, it feels so good around the eye. Mm -hmm. It feels like you're like lifting my eyeball up. Especially with the little detail sucker that she used around the crevices of my face. How are we doing on the sucking front? Are you still sucking? Uh, no, so we're going to switch. I'm going to just change my gloves and we're going to do the gua sha. I feel pretty drained. <laughs> I feel like I want my skin sucked off my face too. <laughs> Okay, how do I sneak in front of that machine? Oops, I've fallen in front of the lymphatic drainage machine and I can't get up. The dog is sleeping on me and I can't get up. <laughs> so the next step was the gua sha massage. Alrighty, so this is the gua sha board. Uh, this is one of the shapes that are out there. Now I've heard of gua sha before. It's a traditional Chinese medicine that has become very popular on TikTok. It feels nice and cool. Did you have it in the fridge? Nope. Oh, it's just naturally it's cold? Just, it's just the rose quartz. And I think originally was meant to improve ailments by stimulating key pressure points on the face and body. You see, I'm not like applying like a hard pressure mm -hmm. because your skin will get bruised. It has a wide range of applications, but for the purposes of this facial and for the purposes of most TikTokers, it was meant to help finish what the lymphatic pump had started and reduce inflammation in the face. Basically, we're going to follow certain meridians, not to bored mm. people. We're just like sweeping towards the outer face. Mm -hmm. And you see, we just drained that fluid and now we're continuing to drain that fluid. As well as help smooth and unravel any fascia crinkling. Fascia is the connective tissue that surrounds your muscles. You know that silver skin on the meat? Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. fascia. Oh. <laughs> on so. meat too. Mm. And the logic here is that your fascia can crinkle or bunch, so the gua sha can help iron it out like wrinkles on a shirt. Fascia works like kind of like Venetian blinds. It starts to like sag and the fascia like crinkles, right? Mm. So you can do a lot of lifting. After holstering her gua sha, Biba doubled down by going in with a general fascia muscle massage. There's a bib muscle here, right here. It's like looks literally like a bib. Aiming to loosen up some of the bigger muscles that can cause some of that crinkling we mentioned. Do you feel it? I, I, whatever's happening, I like. So I think maybe yes, I can feel it. And after trying to lengthen out the fascia of the platysma muscle, she moved on to my jaw. The strongest muscle on our body is said to be masseter muscle, which is the chewing muscle, right? Mm. And this is where actually the ten tension uh, happens. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, here. Ah! Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah. After starting off pretty nice and gentle with the gua sha and the neck lengthening. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah. I'm not gonna hurt you, but I'm just going to stretch it a little because it's going to feel better. The jaw demanded some serious ass kicking, <laughs> and Biba seemed to revel in trying to help me work out my kinks. Oh, oh, I know. Ah. Okay, so now we know oh. you have a tense jaw muscle. Oh. It's okay. That it's was crazy. Right. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. On the jaw, nose, cheeks, you name it. Yeah. It's like American Girl doll teeth right now. And after a fair amount of massaging and stretching, egg vibes only increase. <laughs> <laughs> it was time for us to do a brief extractions intermission before our grand finale. All right, time. I don't think I can actually hold this while this is happening. Now I do notoriously have a bit of poor congestion slash blackheads on my nose. I'm only going to just pick up some of them. Like you, you just have some superficial clogging. So Biba wanted to see if she could squeeze a few of them out. Ah. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's it's good. I always prefer to be on the giving end of this treatment rather than the receiving end of it. Yeah, I've actually only ever had soft do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Biba enjoyed herself. Oh, this is so satisfying. <laughs> sorry if you guys can't see much. We'll figure out how to film it better for next time. So we're going to freshen up your skin with a toner. Great. I'm going to take this off. Whoa. It's Thyme, basil. Basil, yep. Mm -hmm. I smell basil. I'm becoming one with the caprese. That, that was a stupid joke. <laughs> That's probably our best joke yet. Yeah. <laughs> she also added a lip moisturizer. I'm just going to apply some of the lip treatment. Yeah, I need that. Before moving on to the microcurrent machine. So we're going to now get into the beautifying. Oh, now? Now. What was happening before? That was the draining. The draining. The, the draining. Those are like the prep. Now, microcurrent devices have become pretty popular nowadays as well. Mm. Mm. I have a small one at home myself, but Biba's is the real deal big bad version. We're gonna just do the lifting part here. Mm. I know we have to keep for like 16 counts. Mm. And the idea behind microcurrent treatments is that they administer low levels of electrical currents to your facial muscles to help lift, reposition, and tone them. Blink twice if you can feel anything, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I don't feel anything. Should I feel something? Mm -mm. Biba specifically mentions 32 different facial muscles that she needs to pay attention to in her metafacial. How do you feel about uh, Facebook moving in on your branding? Ha <laughs> ha I trademarked it first. <laughs> <laughs> They can have the metaverse, but not the metafacial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but besides lifting, microcurrent treatments are also supposed to help circulation in the face, as well as boost collagen and elastin production. This is also an opportunity for Biba to pin Sophia's mouth shut. <laughs> 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 Hmm. Though I started off not being able to feel much, there were a couple more intense zaps in sensitive areas that felt like a little buzzing to me. Mm, I feel that one too. A little vibrating almost. Mm -hmm. Just like a little pulsing. Yeah. And after a round with the two-pronged microcurrent prods, we moved on to the big kahunas. The one that has like the four? The fork, you're getting the fork. So I just have to assemble it. Like, does it look <laughs> ominous? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks great. I asked Biba specifically for the four. Fork. <laughs> because I saw the fork. I contemplated the fork. I, I wanted the fork, and now I'm getting the fork, and I'm very excited. These larger ones are obviously pretty similar to the other prods. Oh, so they're coming. Okay. Oh. So we're just going to grab this muscle. Oh, feels mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. But I think they're just a bit more intense. Ooh, yeah, I can feel it. And perhaps better at grabbing larger bits of the facial muscles. It looks like the thing that hatches the eggs in Jurassic Park. <laughs> I love Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like so surprised that we already don't have it. Dinosaurs, yes. <laughs> same, same, Biba, yeah. same. We all thought 2022 was gonna be different. I just thought the forks looked cool. You forked out. I got forked. You got four. Okay, so let's <laughs> And once we were done with the microcurrent treatment. I think that I'm not trying to say that one session is all you need, but I think the soft is looking quite radiant right now. I think so too. Yeah. Oh, thanks guys. It was time to slather some SPF on me and exit the metafacial verse. So are we done, Biba? We're done. Oh my God, I have risen. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. It looks like yeah. a different face. Right? I, I think you look good, Sam. It looks so good. It's so calm. Now, overall, I thoroughly enjoyed my celebrity contouring facial. It was very fun to actually experience these treatments that I'd seen so much about online. I just got forked by Biba. 
In terms of sensation, my favorite parts were definitely the chin breast pump, which felt weirdly relaxing, and the fascia massage, ah! <laughs> which was somewhat painful, but in a good way, like Biba was really getting into the nitty gritty. I feel good overall. I feel super massaged. I feel like rubbed and just right. like drained. I'm somewhat naked, so I have to get dressed and then see how my face looks. And in terms of visual impact, all right, I'm dressed and alive. I do think I see a little bit of a difference with the depuffing and rehydrating. Obviously, you can't really have huge effects in just one visit, but I think me coming in off of traveling and being dry gave us something to work with. A good starting point, if you will. One day later. Do I look drained? You do kind of, actually. Or did I already pump all the fluids back into the face. Relymph? Yeah. <laughs> but overall, visual effects aside, I felt some serious stress relief after letting expert Biba work her magic. I feel very, you said trance-like. I feel a little trance-like. Right, right, right. A little right, bit like right. floating. Right. Floating through the air. Astral cleaning. Right. No, it's it's the, it's called the alpha state. Oh. Like you just get into deep relaxation, so it's alpha. I do. I'm in the alpha state right now. So after being contoured to the gods and back, I opt not to get on the space penis with Daddy Bezos, but instead to go to a remote island with Biba and clone some dinosaurs. I don't know, Biba. I think your take that we should have Jurassic Park by now is a very good take. Yeah, we all agree. We all agree. Everyone in the room was just nodding. Yeah, yeah. we should have that. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I would die to see. Pterodactylus. Yeah. Dude, the flying guy? Same. I would die if I saw it. I mean, die in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> I would have died and went Thank to heaven. So thanks so much to Biba for letting us come by and film at her mystery location. Thank you so much, Biba. This was so fun. You're I feel welcome. so very massaged. And that was the goal, so. And you get forked. Yeah, and I got forked. <laughs> forked I by Biba. I need a t-shirt that says that. That could be some merch, Biba. <laughs> forked by Biba. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to shamash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to shamash that subscribe button. Here are our various short form and social media handles. And here's our merch website. And with that, I will see you guys next time.